Today I have three Winter Wonderland ideas for you. Keep watching! I'm Brandy and this is Making It My Own DIYs. Number one is going to be a little deer snow globe. This is so adorable. I got these ideas walking through, I think it was Bath and Body Works. So you can see all the supplies we're going to be using. I've got some picks. These are little salt and pepper shakers. Little deer. I have a little stuffed snowman with the little fur. And these jars came from Dollar Tree. Can you believe it? These canisters, they're really, really good. Hopefully you can find these at your store. There's a larger one and a smaller one. And in just a second, I'm going to measure these for you. Just to give you an idea, in case you don't find these, you can get a container that's close to that. I started off by looking for the little fish bowls, but I couldn't find them, so this is even better. Then I have some of this little miniature greenery stuff and some snow and a glass plate. And that also came from Dollar Tree. My kids are stomping around upstairs. As soon as I say I'm doing a voiceover, everybody get quiet. Everybody runs for the hills. Okay, so I'm going to use this satin nickel spray paint and do the plate and both of these tops. I'm going to let those dry. I'm going to take this sheet of styrofoam and it's about the same depth as the neck of my jar, so it's perfect. And I got that from the thrift store. I'm just going to press down. I don't want to have to guess here. I want it to be a nice snug fit because I don't want to have to glue this in. And I'm just going to press down with both till I get to my tabletop. And I started off by using my metal ruler here just to kind of score it, cut some little lines in here so it would be easier to work with the pieces one at a time. Works really well for cutting things. And then I started by taking my ruler and just kind of cutting down in there and then decided just to go up and down all around to get my circular shape. This is really easy to do. You can use whatever you want to use, but I had already cut my thumb. I did not want to have to get out a blade or anything else like that. Okay, so once it is popped out of its form there, you're just going to rub off the little edges. They'll be kind of fraying. And then we're going to cover those with a sheet of this faux, it's like a snow fabric or a batting material. But I got it a long time ago to use for my little snow village, my little winter village. So this is going to stick pretty well without any glue, so you really wouldn't have to use it. But just for security reasons, I went ahead and opened mine back up, sprayed a little bit, and then glue, put them back down in the same shape. Now be sure that you have windows open, doors open, a fan going, or that you do this outside in a well-ventilated space. Now I'm going to put some on the top of these as well and take some of that snow. You can get it like a white, which is what I have. Or if you prefer, you can get it in like an iridescent. And that's really nice too. I didn't use my salt and snowflake mixture this time because I didn't want to have to deal with the, the mess of it. Plus, I don't have to have this in any type of a thickness. So this works best. All right, I'm just sorting through to see what I want to use. And I do have this pick that came off of something... I think from last year and then so I've just cut it down and stuck it in the back and I know that I want my little deer to go right there so I'm gonna hot glue him on the bottom it doesn't have shiny surface on the edges so that's where you want to put your glue and it will stick down without coming off that's my experience anyway and then another little pine pick I'm putting over here because I want it to look like he is in the woods deer like to bed down and and be in a secure hidden spot so I'm trying to kind of make him feel comfortable right there in his little home so these little picks are really nice I think when we grew up we call the tree a popcorn tree because the little seed pod would pop open like popcorn pops so I think that's what these little white pieces are that's what it reminds me of anyway but they also kind of put you in the mind of a flower and they're snowy so I just I love the texture and the interest that it gives to this piece I'm going to take some of my little snowy pine cones and just put them here and there, just like if you were doing an arrangement, you know, like a floral arrangement. Just put them in there and protect your fingers. You can definitely use your little silicone finger protectors for that. 
Um, I do have an Amazon storefront, so if there's anything in my video that you need to learn about or know about, you can look it up on my Amazon store, and it is in my description box. So far, so good. I'm liking my little deer. Don't be concerned with the little holes in his head because we are going to fix that. It's not going to be a problem. I'm going to do something really cool with that. And then you're just going to continue to put them around. I, I pick it up and put it down and, and look to see what I need to go where. And just like when we're doing wreaths and arrangements, pick it up, look at it from all angles, and decide what needs to go where. I do that quite a lot. Isn't he cute? If you want to buy me a coffee, do you know that you can certainly do that? The link's in the description box below. Thank you. All right, just add them in here and there. Make sure that you do not go past the edges of your little cap because you're gonna have to squeeze the little surface here back into the jar. So you don't wanna extend past your edges. Leave everything in the center on the top. Okay, so this these little berries came off of the little garland, the little pitberry garland, whatever. And you can pull them off the wire and cut them. And I decided to use these to make him look like a little buck. When, when uh, deer or babies, when they get older, obviously, they start to grow little nubs on their head before they become horns. So now we have a little nub and buck. Isn't he cute? Project number two is the snowman snow globe. I will assemble both of these globes after we get done with the little snowman. So I'm going to take a piece of this wire that I already had. Um, it came off of a floral pick that I used before and I'm going to take the skinny wire part and just poke it right into the fabric. We have to have a way to secure this snowman and make sure he doesn't pop off of our little base when we put him together. So I'm just doing the same thing on both sides, putting the wire side down first, trim it down so he's got some little stilts and then press it straight through the fabric. It's really easy to puncture through that fabric by the way. No worries about that. Okay, so he's down, and now we need to add some hot glue underneath. And while I have him, because his bottom is so uh, thick and so um, round, I have to put quite a bit of glue and then hold him down there till he's completely dry. Again, with the Pitberry Garland, I'm going to make a little circle with a couple of loops, and we're going to put Put it down over his arms, making sure again that it stays on that base and does not go off of the base. And I'm going to put that down at his feet, and then we're going to make almost like a little wreath circle to go around him. So I'm just going to lay these pine cones one at a time, all in the same direction, all the way around. Just like this. So you can see the little pit berries sticking out underneath. I like them. They look snowy to me. It looks perfect. Just gonna go around and around here. Stay tuned, because later on we have information about the 8,000 subscriber giveaway. It's coming up. You don't wanna miss it. Okay, so we're gonna continue around just like this until the circle is complete. You can use anything you wanna use here. You can use little iridescent pom-poms to look like snowballs or just anything you want. And so that part is finished. I like it. And I'm going to add two of these little trees. And these are just little white trees that you can get at Dollar Tree or at Target, um, Bullseye's Playground, whatever. And you can just cut them because they're on wire. So you can make, make them smaller if you would like. And I've used a larger one and a smaller one. And then I'm going to twist around just a little dowel rod that I have here to make a little twisty, like snowy branch. I'm gonna add some hot glue and tuck that right inside behind the tree and it's gonna stand up right by his little hands or his little arms. Cute. They almost look like a little heart, don't they, on the top. And again, just kind of looking all the way around to see what else I wanna add. I'm gonna add one more right to the front, right behind the trees and on top of the pine cones. And he is just too precious. It might be a she, who knows? She's liking her fur coat and her little fur wrap there. Now I'm gonna disassemble this because I need two wood discs. So I'm just gonna take this apart. And then I'm gonna spray paint them with the same paint. Be sure to follow me on my social media. 
Okay, so now we have to assemble everything with our snow globes. And I'm just trying to get an idea of what pieces I want to go where. And I know that I want the top to actually be the bottom now. So I'm going to start by taking my small jar and the deer, who is smaller, and I'm just going to press it up into the neck or the mouth of that jar. Press it, press it, press it. And I do have one of my branch tips a little bit bent over, but I am not bothered by that one little bit. Everything doesn't grow straight in nature, so who knows how it would have gone if it would have just been plunked down by the wind. So there you go. Very cute. Now we need to cover the top. We don't want that to show. and It's got a dimple in it like the bottom of a jar normally has. And it's kind of ugly. We're going to need to cover that up. Plus, if it's going to be a candle holder, we need a flat surface to put there. So we're going to go around with a little bit of fix-all glue and the hot glue in between. you got to work really quick after you put the hot glue on because it dries fast on glass and on metal. And there you go. This is going to be our top and our bottom, and I think it looks great. Now we're going to take some of this trim. It's kind of fuzzy, sparkly little rope trim. And then I'm going to cut a piece of greenery down. It's just cutting off little pieces so I have something to grab onto with the rope. Just trimming it. Now I have a little stem to attach it. And I can put it right underneath that knot. Put a little bit of hot glue there to make sure nothing comes off. And then I can just tie it in there. I don't want anything to fall apart. Y'all, I swear I don't have ghosts in my house. What you hear above is my kids. Okay, so there we go. I'm tying this down. Very simple. You could hot glue it if you wanted to. And you could certainly use a different type. You could use jute or anything you want on the top. But I thought this would be appropriate for Winter Wonderland because it's sparkly. So now we have one piece of our pick. I'm going to add another one of these little pods. And I'm going to add another little pine cone. Just like that. Isn't he adorable? I love it. Alright, now it's time for the snowman. We're going to put him in carefully, making sure you get his arms in there because the mouth of the jar is the smallest diameter. So I'm just tucking as we go along. He fit in nicely. Got plenty of room there. Always check before to make sure that your items are going to fit. So just, you know, check it out first. Now I'm just going to press it in. Screw that lid down nicely. And when you flip it back over, this is how this one looks. You can put extra snow in if you want to, but I did not need it for mine. I like it like this, and the one at Bath & Body Works did not have loose snow in it either. Alright, so I'm taking that plate. It is upside down, and I am placing the bottom of the jar, which is now the top, right on top. Give it time to dry. So I'm trying to support that that plate on there to make sure nothing happens. And I'm going to add a wooden disc on the bottom of this one. Well, it will be the bottom now. Just to make sure that both of my items looked, you know, like a pair. I'm going to take the rest of that little piece of rope and go around right in the center, right around where the little crack is between those, and a little bit of glue here and there just to make sure it doesn't move. And instead of tying this off, I'm just going to make it just loop around and that's all. I've got some really pretty, this is like a metallic looking, almost like a ladder that I'm going to add right underneath the plate at the top of this jar. Because I want to add something else and I need something to adhere the two things together, to hold it, make it a little more stable. So when you glue to glass, it can be difficult. Things like to pop off. So I'm going to go all the way around with a little bit of glue so that I don't make a mess. Glue a little bit onto the plate, a little bit onto the jar or the canister and just keep going around just like that. Now it's going to cut off in a minute, but don't be concerned because I promise you at the end of the video you're going to see the full effect. You'll be able to see it for what it is in the end. Okay, so I'm going to continue around. And this is how it looks, and you could certainly leave it this way. But I got these icicle garlands at the thrift store, and I thought, you know what? What a perfect place to put these. 
So now the hot glue on the ribbon will hold these little plastic icicles nicely in place. And you can certainly use Gorilla Glue or whatever type of adhesive that you like. Be sure you subscribe if you're enjoying this video. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family and my journey to 10,000 subscribers. All right, so here are the rules. You gotta watch the video and put I want it in the comment section. Project number three, snow place like home wreath. We're gonna start off with this wagon wheel wreath, which was originally from Dollar General several years ago. And I took all the picks off so I could use it again. I've got new picks and I've got these little metal trees, um, <laughs> houses rather, from Dollar Tree. And they come in three different colors. So you can use whatever you like but I like the, the metal for this wreath. Cut your picks apart because we're gonna make new picks. Got two little picks that came from Dollar Tree with a couple little things on it and I'm gonna beef them up. So I'm gonna add some white eucalyptus to it and I'm gonna add another greenery pick with some frost on it. And I'm just gonna use these pipe cleaners to hold them together. You can use floral wire, you can use floral tape, zip ties, whatever you wanna use. I'm gonna make several of them that are somewhat similar. And then I think I made two of those and then I'm gonna make a few more that are a little bit different and you'll see those as well. Okay, see those? And then we're gonna wrap these together little bit different but it's all in the same theme everything is going to match nicely together you can bend them out they are mostly on wire so just bend them make them look how you want nothing needs to lay flat and then start placing them around where you think you might want them I always do this first I don't always leave it in the video but I always lay them down first to decide what is most pleasing to my eye and you know it's going to be different for everybody you know, everybody's going to like something different, and that is fine. Your crafts and creations are yours. They bring you joy. No one can tell you that it's not right. You don't need approval. That's what I'm saying. Be confident. Do it with joy in your heart, and be confident. Okay, so I'm just using zip ties here, but you can use, you've seen me use floral wire to do this, too. You could certainly use hot glue if you wanted, because this is just like a MDF wheel. Whichever way you want to do it will work fine. I'm just kind of overlapping them where you can't see the stems from the previous one. You want it to be nice and full. Then move your picks around where they look nice. And then, so you can, we're alternating. So I had one of the thinner picks, then one of the thicker ones with the pine cones, then a thinner one. Then we're going to do the thicker pick with a pine cone in it, just like that. So my goal, in case you were wondering, is to be at 10,000 subscribers before I get to 2022. So I am well on my way, but I still need a little over 50 subscribers a day in order to get that goal. And that's just an average. So I am asking that if you enjoy my videos, if you're already a viewer, I would love for you to subscribe and join this family. There's my son's hands. He's all into it too. He's putting the winter ma magic in here. He didn't want me to cut it out of the video either. But I would love to have you. I really would love to have you. We have so much fun. I'm always in the comment section responding, you know, answering questions and just talking. I love to talk to y'all. I love to get your input. And so many people leave tips, which is great because it helps us all. So be sure you read the comment section, you know, if you're a subscriber or if you're a viewer who is considering subscribing. Okay, so now it's time to put the pieces down and I'm gonna do it just like this you can put your houses on here any way you want to but I'm trying to get mine centered in an area where the back is open so that I can put my little flickering flameless candles inside so I'm trying to leave a space in there where I can get those pieces back on the inside so just like this I'm gluing it down and don't worry if you make a mess you know just put something underneath your surface because sometimes you know you put glue where it doesn't need to be and it's dripping on the table 
It's okay. It's just crafting. It's supposed to get a little messy, right? So press them on down there and then add in your pieces of greenery in the additional spots that you want them. You're not going to see the end of this clip either because for some reason it disappeared on me. But uh, definitely, definitely stay tuned to the end because you will see what it looks like all together. I'm just adding in some more greenery and then I'm going to add some of those little Christmas trees just like this around the houses. Okay, so here's our reveal. Look at these pieces. Oh my goodness. I am so happy with the way these turned out. And this candle was from a previous video. And I just put it on top. But look at this. Aren't they cute? See the little flickering lights on the inside? I love this piece. And I'm so glad I didn't lose the footage of the full wreath. So here is this candle, our little snow globe with the candle on top. Definitely use flameless candles. It's just the safest thing to do. So be sure that you comment now, I want it, down in the comment section to be entered for a chance to win the box. This is a 8,000 subscriber giveaway box and it is full of crafting tools of from Dollar Tree and some other stuff that I had that is new. The official rules can be found in my description box, so be sure that you check that out. You definitely need to be from the U.S. or Canada, unfortunately, at this time. That's as far as I can go. Thank you so much for being part of my family, and I'm so grateful to have you stop by today. I'll see you again soon. Bye.